What is up YouTube and welcome back to Bike Hub Japan. So this is take two of today's video because a minute ago I took a little sneaky shortcut that I thought was going to save me some time and uh, this happened. Oh, Jesus Christ. What am I fucking doing boys? What am I fucking doing? Let's come back to this video in a minute while I try not to die. that wasn't exactly the ideal start to the day and to the video so I figured let's go somewhere a bit safer and do it again so if you guys remember on my last video I was saying that if anyone had a question for me they could send me a video on um, Instagram Messenger and I would answer the question and feature their little video so I received another video another question from G Money Rides in the US so thank you very much for that um, now his question is boom. Hey Bike Hub, it's G Money here. Just got a couple of questions for you. So what has been the most uh, fun road to ride in Japan? Um, what's been the most dangerous road to ride in Japan from your experience? And what's the one road in Japan that you haven't ridden yet, but you really want to? I look forward to your answers, look forward to new content, uh, keep up the good work and we'll see you. Right, so I will get onto the question in a moment, but first of all, I want to show you G Money Rides' channel is freaking hilarious. The, he got one video back in the day that went kind of viral, and uh, I asked him if I could use the video and kind of chop it up a bit and uh, make it turn it into a little clip. So I'll play that clip for you now. Morning, officer. How are you doing? Good. How are you? Pretty good. What, what, you have any idea why I stopped you? Um. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I got oh, an idea. Fourteen hundred block of Harrison Street. Uh, I got a pretty good idea. I really expected to see a guy that was about twenty-two. How old are you? Uh. Uh. Fifty-seven. Fifty-seven. Oh shit. You got your driver's license. I sure do. All right. It's just a written warning. Okay. Just goes into the import system, doesn't okay. go into the state okay. or anything. Okay. You're five years older than I am. I really expect to see a 22 year old kid. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> not, um, a big, not a big deal. I, I, I thank Just you so much. much. Okay. I, I will. Uh, right, I yeah, will. Like uh, I said, it doesn't go to the state. Okay. It stays in our system. So obviously, if somebody would stop you, we would pull it up and it'd see that you had a warning. Okay. All right. Take it easy. Thanks, then. buddy. Found it down, loaded up and trucking. Are we going to do what they say can be done? So yeah, I think when I first saw that video, I started talking to um, to G Money on Instagram, and since then we kind of chat regularly. So yeah, thanks very much for the question, mate. Right, so let's get on with the answer. So my favourite road, um, the most dangerous road I've ever ridden, and the roads I have not yet ridden but really want to. So, favourite road right now, I'm just going to stick for stick to Japan because, um, you know, that's where I live. <laughs> so, right now, as of 2022, my favourite road is a place called the Kurakake Pass, which is a road that's about an hour and a half away from me, and it's a really good fun road. Um, now, the way that me and the boys go to it, we approach it so the entrance is on the uphill section. So, the first say 10 minutes i think well actually i think when we're riding fast we do it in like eight minutes so i don't know what the length of the road is exactly but um the first section the uphill section is kind of narrow but the tarmac is super great it's like not not bumpy or anything it's quite smooth and um in really good condition so you can ride pretty hard on it and you can get your knee down on most of the corners and uh, yeah it's kind of challenging there's a couple of corners that usually catch you out um, that you have to be careful of but yeah it's a really awesome road so i'll play a clip of it now while i while i talk so you can see what i'm talking about 
So the next section, once you get to the top, there's a, a tunnel and like a parking area. And then the downhill section is kind of, it's totally different to look at from the, from the uphill. So it becomes very wide and it's really picturesque. Like either side of the road, there's just big drop-offs and you can see all the, the mountains and the, the forests and the trees and stuff like that. So it's a really cool and picturesque road. Um, this road I'm on is very, very slippery. I don't know if you can see this stuff, this road surface got like all these little lines in it. That shit is slippery, so I'm kind of riding very cautiously today. Um, yeah, so right now Kurukake Pass is my current favourite road. Now, as for dangerous roads, pretty much that one I was on a minute ago with all the snow and ice was pretty dangerous, but that's only because of the weather. Um, a really dangerous road which uh, is the actual, is the road that I crashed on, uh, crashed my KTM on um, like maybe a year and a half ago. Um, now it's not dangerous because you can crash and there's uh, dangerous corners or bumps and stuff. Obviously I crashed there because I was a bit, uh, wasn't gentle enough with my throttle. Um, but yeah, what's dangerous about it is, is the drop-offs. So the barriers like this, there's no, you can't see anything around them. There's no trees or anything. It's just a barrier and then the road ends. And that's because on the other side of the barrier, there's like a 500 meter drop because you're literally on the edge of the mountain. So um, yeah, I wouldn't want to crash there basically. So even though last time me and Adam were going pretty hard um, before I crashed, uh, yeah, I wouldn't want to have an accident there because you would basically get a free flying lesson and you would be brown bread. So yeah, not good. Now, as for roads that I want to ride, oh man, there's so many. Um, the trouble is, where I live, is it's nowhere near Tokyo. To get to Tokyo is like a four or five hour drive. Um, so I don't really go up there that often, but the roads around Mount Fuji are supposed to be some of the best roads in Japan. So there's tons of roads I want to go and visit and uh, ride on. So Izu Skyline is one. Um, lots of manufacturers use that in TV commercials, like when they're doing their new car product launches and stuff so it's really picturesque and supposedly amazing corners um, there's another one called the Hakone Turnpike which I still haven't been to which I should um, recently Mark Marquez rode a MotoGP bike there for a for um, a Honda commercial so it's a pretty famous road um, there's other ones as well that are popular because of that um, what do you call it that comic book uh, initial D I don't know if you guys know what that is but a Japanese comic book about a guy who's uh, kind of like a street racer so there's tons and tons of roads that are, um, you can see in that comic book that I desperately want to visit uh, one of them is called Irohazaka I think that's the one um, which is actually a one-way road so you can literally you can race the whole thing without having to worry about like a truck coming around the corner or anything like that so yeah that's definitely on um, my to-do list and I probably should um, get out to that area this year because last year I didn't really do much um, in the way of long, long journeys, but I kind of want to uh, this year. Um, so yeah, stay tuned. Hopefully I'll get myself out there. So yeah, G Money, thank you very much for the question. Now, who's got the next question? Anyone? Anyone? So yeah, like I said before, if you have a question, just send me a video message with your phone in the portrait mode, not landscape, so that way. And uh, yeah, just send me a video on Instagram Messenger and I'll do my best to answer your question. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye for now.